Now let's look at question number 24. An oxidation reduction reaction in which three electrons are transferred has a delta G naught of 17.37 kilojoule per mole at 25 degree Celsius. The value of E naught cell in volt is and you have to express the answer in 10 raised to power minus 2. What is the formula my dear friends? Delta G naught is equal to minus N F E naught of cell, alright. What is the value of delta G naught? 17.37 kilojoule. So, this is 17.37 into 1000. Number of electrons is 3. Faraday's constant is given to be 96500 into E naught of cell, right. Now, when you solve it out, you will get E naught of cell is equal to minus 0 0.06, which can be written as minus 6 into 10 raised to power minus 2. So, the right answer in this blank should be minus 6, okay. Now, let us look at the next question. Question number 25, a soft drink was bottled with a partial pressure of carbon dioxide of 3 bar over the liquid at room temperature, okay. So, you got a cold drink which contains carbon dioxide at a pressure of 3 bars, fine. The partial pressure of CO2 over the solution approaches a value of 30 bar when 44 gram of carbon dioxide is dissolved in 1 kg of water, okay. So, this is uh, you know uh, a data which is given to us that if you take 1 kg of water and the pressure is 30 bar, then it means that 44 grams of CO2 is dissolved in it. The approximate pH of this soft drink which contains the uh, CO2 at 3 bar, okay. So, what is the use of this data? We will check it out. First dissociation constant of H2CO3 is given to you, log 2 is given, density of the soft drink is given as 1 gram per milliliter. So, 1 kg of this solution we will consider as it is uh, basically 1000 milliliter, okay. Now, how to use this data? See, we are given that if the pressure is 30 bar at 30 bar, mass of carbon dioxide in the solution will be 44 gram. But the soft drink that we are having is having a pressure of 3 bar. So, 3 bar at 3 bar the mass of CO2 will be equal to 4.4 gram, agreed? Fine. So, I can say that the number of moles of CO2 will be equal to 4.4 divided by 44 which is 0 0.1 mole. Now, at this pressure, this carbon dioxide is going to combine with water or not tell me? Will this combine with water? Yes. So, this H2O combines with the CO2 to give you H2CO3. Now, here I am assuming that the reaction has gone to completion and you have 0 0.1 mole of H2CO3 in the solution which actually is responsible for the pH over here or rather I should say the acidic pH over here, okay. Now, how do I calculate the pH of this solution which contains 0.1 mole H2CO3? Fine, we are given the first dissociation constant of H2CO3. Now, what is the concept over here? See, beta uh, H2CO3 dissociates to give H plus plus HCO3 minus. In the second step, you can dissociate HCO3 minus to H plus and CO3 to minus. But what we have observed that the second dissociation of HCO, H2CO3 or the dissociation of HCO3 minus is very, very, very small. So, you can neglect that particular part. So, even if you are having a diprotic acid, still you will use the first dissociation equation for the calculation of pH, okay. And that is what we have to do in this particular case. Now, initially 0.1 mole is given to us. Now, at equilibrium, I will say this is 0 0.1, 1 minus alpha, this is 0 0.1 alpha and this is also 0 0.1 alpha, right. Now, to calculate this, I require to use this formula K is equal to H plus 
concentration HCO3 minus concentration upon H2CO3. Okay. Now, dear students, uh, we have to calculate the value of H plus basically which means that we have to calculate the value of alpha putting down the rest of the values over here. Now, uh, see there is one thing which can help you out in reducing your uh, calculations over here and that is that if the value of K A by C is lesser than 10 raise to power minus 3, you can assume 1 minus alpha to be approximately equal to 1. Okay, fine. So, if I put the values of K A, what is the value of K A given to us? The value of K A is given to be 4 into 10 raise to power minus 7. 4 into 10 raise to power minus 7. You divide this by 0 0.1, it will be 4 into 10 raise to power minus 6. Tell me, is it lesser than is it lesser than 10 raise to power minus 3 or not? Yes. So, we can neglect the value of alpha because it is very very small. So, we can write 1 minus alpha is approximately equal to 1. So, using this assumption, if I put down the values over here, see K A is 4.0 into 10 raise to power minus 7 H plus and H U 3 minus. So, I can write 0 0.1 alpha square because they are same. H 2 C O 3 is 0.1. 1 minus alpha. So, the idea is that we are actually neglecting this 1 minus alpha and from here we will be calculating the value of alpha. Okay. Now, so on solving we will be getting 4.0 into 10 raise to power minus 7 multiplied by 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.01 alpha square. Right. So, from here I can say alpha is 2 into 10 raise to power minus 3. Okay. But we have to find out the value of H plus. What is the concentration of H plus? 0 0.1 alpha. So, this will be equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by 2 into 10 raise to power minus 3 which is 2 into 10 raise to power minus 4. Okay. And now, with the help of this H plus concentration, we have to find out the pH. Now, pH is negative log of H plus concentration. So, this is negative log of 2 into 10 raise to power minus 4. Negative, this is log 2 plus log of 10 raise to power minus 4. See, the value of log 2 was given in the question. And that is the reason they gave this value. So, this is 0 0.3 and this is minus 4. So, the answer is coming out to be 3.7. Okay. But you should check in which form they want you to express it out. Okay. So, over here they want you to express as into 10 raise to power minus 1. So, we are getting the value as 3.7. We are getting the value as 3.7. So, we should be writing it as 37 into 10 raise to power minus 1. So, in the blank you should be writing 37. Right. So, dear students what you have observed in this particular session is that the questions are of a mixed nature. Some are very straight. Some are memory based. Some you might have found sir I did not knew that they can ask this part. So, which tells us that everything that is given in the books are important. Everything is important. You just cannot skip out anything at all. Okay, fine. So, I hope you have understood all the solutions of the questions which are discussed over here. All the best.